<laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's Magneto. Next up, he's a bad father, but what he did created the greatest superhero of all time, David Banner. Yeah. Him abusing Bruce's father, uh, mother and him created all that repressed rage and anger and uh, allowed the Hulk to be, you know, the whole anger, stronger thing. Um, so that was good for the world, but not so much for Bruce. Yeah, Bruce has got daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, now, but he's starting to overcome them though. Like there's a in, in one where when he, Hulk was fighting his son, uh, Scar, he's getting ready to beat up Scar, and he sees his father hitting him, and he stops and hugs him, and then it, it turns Scar to the good side. It's really emotional. I mean, I didn't cry because you know whatever, but it was really emotional. Like people who do cry stuff, you would cry at that. Yeah, manly tears though. Yeah, because. He's like, Daddy, why? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, David Banner was pretty, pretty terrible father. But, you know, he turned the Hulk into a good father. Yeah, so there you go. And Hulk is the, now the strongest one there is in both universes. Second strongest. The strongest. Second strongest. The strongest. I'm, sorry, I, I'm just going to edit out everything he says. A Superman's movie is going to make a billion dollars. It's not. Watch well, it made because all the movies are getting better. So, like, every superhero movie seems to be making... A billion, because they they've learned how to make a good movie now. The Amazing Spider-Man didn't. Every good movie <laughs> making a billion dollars. Remember, I don't. If it's see, Spider-Man was that was Sony. It didn't count. <laughs> All right, next up, um, the reason we came up with this list. Yeah. One like, he's so, so bad. <laughs> Goku. Okay, now, I know a lot of you are sitting around going, wait, he teaches his son martial arts? No. He, no, no, no. Piccolo taught his son martial yep. arts. Goku. Goten got no teaching. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know he had Goten. He came back, oh, I had another kid? Cool. Yeah, Goku basically comes home, knocks his wife up. And leaves. And leaves. Or dies. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 granted, he, well, no, he has choices of dying, too, because a couple of times he could have gone back. He just didn't. But then he just, you know. I need to go train. Death means nothing to him. How do you get stronger while you're dead? And just decide, I'm done being dead. Because before, you had the one time bring back. Mm -hmm. And he's been back how many times? About four. Sometimes he comes back to life and he's still dead. Yeah. But he can still interact with people. So it's like he's alive. Yeah, because in some of those Dragon Ball movies, like he'll, he'll be watching as like Gohan's getting, cra getting the crack picked out of him. And he goes, you know what? I have to intervene. And then he just... Goes. He just teleports over there, or <laughs> runs down, or actually no, he used, to, he used to have to run down the dragon road the first time before he could fly. Now he just flies <laughs> over the dragon road like it's so easy. It takes like one episode, and then he just he just comes back. And I are they even sad when Goku dies now? Should they be? They shouldn't be. Like he'll be we'll back see you next week. All right, Dad. See you next time. The world's exploding. <laughs> but he's a terrible father. He didn't even know he had a kid. P Piccolo is a good father. Piccolo's Piccolo, a good father. He's a good father. Yeah, you know Piccolo. Piccolo raised Gohan, basically. Mm hmm. And mm. Goku, okay, he was fighting Cell and could have beat Cell, but decided to let his son do it. Okay, now your son was supposed to be the strongest Saiyan of all time. But he was six. But he, well, no, he's like, he like 12. Like eight, but, oh, but yeah, it's like, but... one, you know Cell is going to play off your son being young and inexperienced to kill him. And two, this is not the time to be training when the world's at stake. Oh, Kill three. Cell. Oh, and three. Don't give him a Zenzu bean. Oh, my And let him God. start the fight over again. Oh, I was so pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was like, did you, did you heal Cell? You, your friend just died to make him weaker. And you gonna give him a Zenzu bean? And then say, okay, go on. Go for it. Ain't no one got time for that. Oh, my God. Like, uh, his fatherhood skills is so are bad. lacking. Yeah, they're, they're lacking. He's so bad. He's not a good father or a good person, really. He just likes to fight. <laughs> he's actually like they say he's got a good heart. And he's innocent. He's not innocent. Yeah, yeah. he will have died playing his games. Well, but he doesn't care because he can always bring him back with the Dragon Balls. You can't. You bring him back. Well, no, actually, every time they have to do something, bring like the entire planet back. Every time it explodes, they say everyone who's died since this moment, bring him back. Like, they, they word it differently. Mm. And somehow the dragon is dumb enough to let it happen. Or they go to Namek and get those Dragon Balls. It's stupid. It should be limits. Hate Dragon Ball Z, but also love it because it was what pretty much opened up the West to anime. So Goku's a pretty bad father. Goku's a horrible father. He's, 
he inspired the creation of this list. <laughs> um, next up, it's uh, it's actually another uh, another person from anime, um, Gendo Ikari from Evangelion. Uh, those of you out there should know, he's he messed up Shinji so bad that they teach classes on the psychology of Evangelion. <laughs> I mean, throw your kid away, you know, for forever. After his mother dies building a robot, you told her to build. After you conned her into it. Oh, it, it actually, like, absorbed and ate her, sort of. Then, uh, wait for the world to end. Call your son back. Say, get in this robot, or I'll make this little girl die in your place. Which sucks. Mm -hmm. Then the robot is actually his mother, also the Antichrist. But don't tell your son, whatever. Then, make him sort of fall in love with Rey, who's also a clone of his mother. But don't tell him. Don't tell him that. Because, that's, that's gross. So basically he was like, oh, I feel really comfortable around you. I don't know why. I must be in love. No. <laughs> that is wrong. And then just try and kill everyone in the world just to bring your wife back. Yeah. Because she would be happy to come back with you after seeing what you did to her son. Yeah. But. No. There's no buts. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to come up with a redeeming quality here. Oh. He built a really cool robot. No, he also did, he did something else. He, um, one of uh, Shinji's best, actually Shinji's like best friend, was another Evangelion that got taken over by an angel, and it was going berserk, right? And Shinji, Shinji's dad said, you need to kill him. He's like, I don't do that, there's a human in there. He's like, all right, cool, autopilot. And he made Shinji's, if you know one, break both of his friend's arms, smash the head, rip the pilot seat out, and then bite it in half. And then he found out it was his best friend. He saw his friend's body being uh, carried out. But he had a good reason for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so bad. After that, Ava Unit 1 refused to respond to uh, Gendo. Because, you know, Ava Unit 1 is also, you know, Shinji's mom and mm -hmm. his, his wife. So she's like, because like, he's like, are you pissed at me, Yuri? Uh, Yuri? He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm pissed at you. You just made my son eat his best friend. Now, she did it, though. Because she wanted to keep her son safe. She was not happy how, how, how it happened. <laughs> but yeah, Gendo's a bad father. Yeah. He's a bad, like, There's no redeeming quality. He has zero. And he just be sleeping, sleeping with everybody who's smart to you make them, you know, follow his commands, make people kill themselves. It just, he's, he's terrible. <laughs> There's nothing to save this man. Uh, so yeah, that's Gendo Ikari from Evangelion. Uh, next up, uh, The Batman. Yeah, okay. Batman. He tried. He tried. Him and Damien got together. They, they were... They made progress. I mean, then Damien died. Okay. But they made progress. He took a 12-year-old boy who watched his family die, put him in a bright red, yellow, and blue... A bright red, yes, yellow, and green costume. he's a distraction. Yeah. And then had him jump across rooftops. Dick Grayson turned out fine. Right. He turned out <laughs> just fine. Then... He took the the um, commissioner's daughter. She turned out really fine, and put her in well, at least a semi well, a gray costume with a bright yellow cape. She to get she shot can teleport. At. You play injustice. She's fine. Barbara's fine. I mean, of course, she gets shot, becomes Oracle. But the point is, <laughs> she's fine. So then he finds Jason Todd. Who also gets ends up fine. Beat down with a crowbar and dies. Growing pains. He comes back. <laughs> he comes back and now he sleeps with Starfire. So then <laughs> after he's after he's decided that, okay, these were all bad ideas. I'm never gonna do this again with another kid. Then he gets another one, Tim Drake. Who's he's actually Tim Robin. Drake? Nothing's Tim Drake actually hasn't had anything bad. Nothing's happened. happened to him. He's not really important to DC Universe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can you name one thing that he's done? Other than B in Young Justice? He had the first cool Robin costume. The red and black one? No, no. The, the, it, it was black, red, and yellow, but mm -hmm. it was uh, the red and black one is, is, is uh, based off of that one. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, before, like, Dick Grayson's Robin costume was the little green shorts the, with the, 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 the gay, yeah, gay yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tim, Tim Drake's costume was the first one that had, like, long pants and boots. See? Look at that. Yeah. It's progress. Yeah. yeah and then his own son, <laughs> who really should be the only Robin, because he was the only one actually trained to be Batman. Yeah, and he's dead now. Yeah. I, I don't know how he died. He'll come back. I don't know how he died, because I was walking in the comic book store to buy the issue where he dies. And everyone 
in the in the store spoiled the whole thing for me as I was buying it. So I don't know how I died. I don't either. I don't want to find out because I was spoiled. I have I have the book. I could read the book. What do you want? All I know is he's dead. <laughs> now, uh, next on the Bad Fathers list, because I don't want to talk bad about the Batman, because he's perfect. He's done nothing wrong. He's Batman. He's Batman. Uh, Lionel's dad. Okay, yeah. I forget what Lionel's dad's name really is. He was only is. around for like two seconds. But, um, okay, you have a son. He's born to be the king. You have an adopted son. And you spend, well, your, your, your real son's entire life making him feel inferior to the adopted son who can't be king anyway. Because the sword didn't choose him. Now, the precise moment that the Sword of Omens chose Lionel, that should have been the moment where he said to Tigra from then on, you know what, son? I know you want to be king, but he's the king. Get over yourself. Help your brother. Yeah. Instead, he spends all his time going, Lionel, look at how much better at things Tigra is. He should be king. But, you know. Everyone said that. Everyone said that to Lionel. Which is and as a father, you should have been able to step, step in and stop that, or mm-hmm. send him away for some training or something. And also, Ch- Ch- Chakara, why did you go with the backstabber? Oh, you mean the guy who went into an alternate universe and tried to kill Lionel? Yeah, yeah. And then you were told about that, and then you made it out with him. Ticks me off. But anyways, Lionel's dad sucks. Yeah, Lionel's dad's horrible because let's face it, you know, it, it's one thing like the the adopted kid. Um, loving him is one thing. You know, you, you you love him, you take care of him, whatever. You don't let him belittle your son. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, only one of them is actually your son. <laughs> <laughs> Blood, man. Come on now. Come on, son. Uh, but yeah, Lionel's dad sucks. Uh, next up. <laughs> next up. Um, this is the last one on our list. Uh, he He's also terrible. Uh, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. Yeah, the guy who belittles his son for his best friend. Who ends up being his villain or his hero. Yeah. Oh, and then also, yeah, turns his son into a goblin, gets his son killed, and then blames all that on the friend he was uh, that he was mm-hmm. uh, belittling him for in the first place. And then somehow becomes... Director of Shield, which becomes turned into Hammer, and they give him all Iron Man's crap and make him Iron Patriot. Yeah, the the not even get into the Iron Patriot thing. Because he, he found God. What? No, you put. It, he was kidnapped. Hey, I I really learned to hate him because before he was just a cheesy Spider-Man villain for me. But um, I I liked uh, Avengers Academy, and the, the premise of that is that um, during Norman Osborn's reign as a uh, director of Hammer, um, he was kidnapping kids that had powers. And torturing them and doing experiments on them to make their their powers uh, evolve. Like there are some kids like, in the academy who are dying because of him. Like one girl, I think her name is Mister <coughs> Vapor. She she turns into some, some kind of gas. She her body is falling apart rapidly because Norman mm-hmm. did some crap to her. The Hawaiian black guy can't bring his skin back, so now he's just, he he's like he's got like this red, like hard to break skin. He can't do it. And then his girlfriend. Um, has nuclear powers, so she stayed in a suit her whole life. Like, it just really sucks for everybody involved. <laughs> Good job, Norman. Yeah, Good torturing job. children using government money, because that is what you were hired to do. And then in the Ultimate Universe, well, he uh, turned his son into Venom. Not on purpose, but then when he found out that his son was He was Venom, cool with it. Yeah, he thought it was a great idea. He's like, yeah, you're, you're not useless. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Norman Osborn is a bad dad, a bad person all around. Uh, but, you know, we want to end this by saying uh, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. I guess that includes you. Yeah, you thank you, thank you. You be a father. And also to my father. Yeah, and to my father, too, who isn't going to see this video, but, you know, I'm he calling might. him. He might, if you tell him. My dad doesn't know anything about the internet. <laughs> 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 but, uh, so yeah, this is our Father's Day episode. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other followers you think deserve to be on this list, good or bad, let us know in the comments and we might do a follow-up video. Um, but, uh, until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.